Hello and welcome back. So today is the 7th of February and you're joining me on the banks of Burnsall Fisheries in Essex. I'm with two of my mates, I'm with Dan and Lee. We turned up about half nine this morning, had a good look around, managed to get a few pegs together. I'm in 13, Dan's in 12 and Lee is still looking but I think he's going to go in 15. So we're quite tight together which is good, a bit of a social. But yeah, did manage to speak to a few lads today and there was three fish out last night. Um, the next swim down from Dan and I believe there was a few fish out last week so it's looking good for it. Hopefully we can get something for the camera, it'd be nice. But yeah, I'm yet to find any spots. Dan's just leading around now. And we'll probably catch up with my approach, the rigs I'm using for this session at Burners. So yeah, itching to find some spots. So we'll catch up in a bit. Right, so just had a little lead around and yeah, not much out there to be fair. Seems quite barren out there. But I've gone 25 wraps out, clipped up on all three rods and the fish three tight together and go from there. So, the setup I'm using this session, you've got a leader band down here, so I've took all my leaders off and I've just got, as you can see here, I've just got a length of tubing. And then on the bottom of that, it's just a heli safe. This is a tubing heli safe from Corda. All three rods are the same, and then a three ounce smudge lead. And then the rigs I'm going to start with, I've got two that are going out there on Ronnie rigs. So just a pink pop-up Camino with a bunch of maggots on the top. So this is going to be on two of the rods. And then the third, as you can see here, it's got an IQ2 D rig with just a wafter on the top. So yeah, we're going to see what happens, but I'm itching to get these rods out, give it a go, and then probably talk about the mix I'll be using this session. So we'll catch up in a bit. Right, finally got the rods out, made a mix up. I'm gonna probably put 10 spawns over the top and see how we get on. So the mix I'm using this session, I've got some crumbed up Camino from Baitworks. I've got some hemp, this is a shelf life range from Carbon, along with some blood worm, some chopped up worm, and a couple of handfuls of maggots, and a good helping of SG liver from Carbon one of the new products I've not used yet, so I'm excited to give this a go. But yeah, so, gonna get some bait out there and yeah, see how we get on. Come on.
Good morning. So we're now 24 hours into our session. It was a very quiet night, really windy. And then some morning, Dan managed to see one show over him and within half an hour, his middle rod was away. Did get some footage. I don't know if I slipped that in already. I'm gonna slip it in now. But yeah, well done to Dan. He's off the mark with a lovely 31 power mirror. So last night, I think there was a couple of fish out as well. A couple of lads on the other sides in pegs one and two. I think they managed a couple. I think a 30 and a 32. So it's good to see some fish coming out. But yeah, that pretty much brings us up to date. Gonna sit there, watch the water, see if we can make something happen. So we'll catch up in a bit. Right, quick update. So after Dan's fish some morning, Lee managed a couple today, didn't he? Yeah, he had a 29 pound common and just a small double just now. So yeah, he's, he's literally just slipped that back. There we have it, nice little one. Same rod's gone again. Already got it back on the spot. Let's get this one back. Try and get a bigger one. So yeah, it's good to see three fish out so far. Me and Dan have still obviously got two nights left and Lee's off in the morning. But both of their, well, three of the fish that have been out have come out on pink, so I've got my rods in, I've changed over to pinks. I think what they, pink heavens I'm using. Yeah. Got them back out there, yeah, we're gonna see what tonight brings. But, um, what's the plan of action tonight, mate? I think I'm gonna put a few more spawns out. Yeah. And just sit and wait, see what the night brings. Yeah, exactly that. Keep an eye on the water. Yeah. Yeah. See, see what, what happens. happens. Yeah, so if you don't hear from us in the night, I'm sure we'll catch up in the morning. Alright, quick update then. So from the previous update, Lee did manage one more. I think that went scraper 20. Yeah, it was. Scraper 20 mirror. I did get some footage of that, so we'll slip that in now. Here's another nice 20 pounder. Caught in that right hand rod again. Not going to get her out of the water, just going to get a little bit of footage here for you. Slip her back, get a rod out before dark, get some more. Hold well on, mate. So, yeah, after then, it went very quiet. Dead. Didn't see anything, and through the night, there's just nothing out was there nothing. through the night. We did walk the lake this morning and spoke to pretty much everyone, and no one's had nothing, so not seen anything. Not seen either. nothing. No, it's not really nothing to go off, is there? You know. No, it's dead. We did um, when we did go for a walk. The right hand side of um, Dan is no lines in the water. It's on the back of the wind, and it feels a lot warmer than it did down there, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. So it's definitely worth keeping an eye on, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye and see if I can see anything and see if I can make something happen. But yeah, that brings us up to date, really. Not much to report. Probably go through the mix we will use in this session, maybe. Yeah, can do, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, if anything happens, um, we'll get the camera out and yeah, we'll keep you updated. Catch you in a bit. Right, so I thought I'd go through Dan's approach and the mix he's been used in this session. If you want to fill them in, mate. Yeah, so it's my first time here at Burners. Um, I found a spot, it's pretty barren out there to be fair, but I've mm. found a spot, put three rods on it, introduced 10 spoms over the top, and as you can see, I was rewarded with that 31 pound mirror. Yeah, mega so, fish yeah, that was, I was buzzing with that. Well done with that. But yeah, so the, the mix I'm using is hemp and corn um, with a few added worms in there, chopped up. Yeah, really impressed with the particle from Carbon Baits. To be fair, you use a lot of your particle in your fishing, don't you? Yeah, I have. The hemp I'm using on this session, I actually opened a jar on my previous session and it's been sat in my shed for a good few months and I've yeah. gone back to it and it's still as fresh as it was when I opened it. I spoke to Luke um, a few months ago and he said if you don't get his mixes spot on, he just don't send them out. And it's just as simple as that. So yeah, massive shout out to Luke. I'll actually put a little link up um, right now. 
head over there, check them out, check all their products. But yeah, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Their stuff is actually very mega. Fresh, very fresh. It is mega. But yeah, that's pretty much it, to be fair. Well, um, the rods are back out there. Not much more we can do except from watch the water, have some dinner and probably get an early night. But yeah, if you don't hear from us in the night, I'm sure we'll catch up in the morning. We have a chunk, hopefully. <laughs> be nice. But yeah, we'll catch up in a bit. Right, good morning. So we're now into the last couple of hours of our session and it's been another quiet night. Nothing's been out all round, has it, to be fair? I don't think no one's had nothing. No, it's been very quiet. It was quite cold in the night and yeah, we did have a bit of rain as well. But I think it's going to be a big fat blank for myself. But to be fair, I've quite enjoyed the session. We've had some good laughs. Yeah, definitely. Biggest fish out between you and Lee's, £31. Lee managed a few up to 29, so yeah, it's been quite successful. Been a good trip, but yeah, we'll definitely if, come back and have another go, won't we? Yeah, no, definitely, I'll definitely be coming back. If nothing happens, um, I'm sure we'll catch up in the next video. So thanks for watching and tight lines. Right, good morning. So we're now coming into the final couple of hours of our session, and to be fair. It's been a very quiet night once again. Nothing out for myself and Dan. I don't think anything's been out. MC Grinder, coming inside ya! <laughs> right. Hello.